So you might not think there's a big difference between radiators and baseboard heaters because they both just produce heat, but there's actually a pretty big difference that's important to understand. And the biggest thing is just that these work with radiant heat and these work on convection heat. So in the video, I wanna break down the difference between convection heat and radiant heat so that you know how to heat your home properly. So there's three types of heat transfer mechanisms. The first I wanna talk about is convection heat, which is what baseboards use. So baseboards are very popular because they're cheap and easy to install. Almost anyone can do them, but you'd probably still want a plumber. Um, so the way this works is just hot air enters through this mechanism right here, and these aluminum plates disperse the heat throughout the baseboard and the hot air leaves and circulates throughout the house where the hot air rises to the top and then it replaces the cold air at the bottom and sort of circulates. So the second type of heating is called forced air, which is basically like your standard hanging heater or like a central air system where you have vents throughout the house. And this is basically just convection heat, but with forced air fans that just blow the heat out. So the last um, category is radiant heat. So this comes in the form of radiators like this or hydronic underfloor heating systems or other combinations of things. And the way this is different is that it heats the objects in the environment instead of the air, like in convection air. So the fact that this works with radiant heat and this works with convection heat puts these two on the opposite sides of the spectrum. And the most important thing to understand about why radiant heat is more efficient is that objects hold heat better than air. So it just makes this more efficient. So if you have two rooms where one is heated with convection heat and the other is heated with radiant heat and you open the door to the outside which has cold air, the air in the room that's heated with convection heat will travel way more to the cold air because hot, uh, heat always works from hot to cold. In the room with baseboard heaters, the air which is warm will naturally flow out to the cold air because heat transfer always works from hot to cold. So this means that if you turn off the thermostat to the radiant heat source, the residual energy maintains the heat longer in the environment because this is way heavier and this is just because this has a high thermal mass. If you have these in one of your home, you will know that it's extremely heavy and that's called high thermal mass. An easy way to understand this is to think about the fact that you get less miles per gallon from your car when driving in traffic versus driving nonstop on the highway. This is simply because a vehicle uses more energy to accelerate than it does to maintain speed. So in this example, the cars that have to stop and start in order to move forward are like convection heat sources, which have to constantly turn on and off to heat a room once the hot air cools off. As I already said, air retains heat worse than objects retain heat, and the cars on the highway work like radiant heaters, which keep a room heated more consistently and reduce the need to turn on and off due to thermal high mass. So I should point out that baseboards are extremely popular for a reason. And the biggest reason is that these are very cost effective. So they cost uh, as low as $7 a foot. And that's because it's made of simple metal and copper, like I showed you. And one thing you want to be careful of is that once you start installing these, there's a lot of necessary accessories that can add to the price, like you can see in this picture. So another nice thing about the baseboards is that they're obviously lighter than radiators and they're pretty easy to install. And once they are installed, they keep a nice low profile. So they're pretty much out of sight. And a common complaint with these is that they are obviously much heavier. And some people say they take up more space because they're way taller. But I don't think this is a very valid criticism because you can't necessarily use the space that's above your baseboard. Because if you have this all throughout your room and you start putting furniture right in front of it, you're taking away the, the heat convection that comes out of this. So in a way, this is actually more uh, space efficient because uh, one of these is more powerful than a whole line of these. So you may not be able to use the space that's directly above this, but it is pretty slim. So the most important point I wanna reiterate one more time about this is that it's more efficient, but this time I wanna do it in terms of BTUs. So if you consider the average heat supply line is three quarter inch at 180 degrees Fahrenheit, you can see that a six section cast iron heater has a BTU output of 1,632, while baseboards have about 600 BTU output per foot of baseboard. So with the same supply input of 180 degrees Fahrenheit at three quarter inch supply line, this is about 63% more efficient. And I should also add that you can use uh, steam heating with this, whereas you can't with baseboard heating or forced air heating. So I'm gonna break these down a little bit further, the differences and how to install them in my next couple of videos. Uh, one important one I wanna show you with these is different accessories you can add on with this to maximize the efficiency of the heating and just uh, a bunch of different ways to install it because there's a lot of options with this and there's a few things that you should definitely see.
So make sure you subscribe and like the video.